when a body is moving then it has certain properties and there is one particular characteristic which tells us that how much force has to be applied on it if we want to change its condition of motion again there is a characteristic in moving body and that characteristic tells us how much force is required so that characteristic is different from the force but that affects the force what is that characteristic we have observed it it's not at all difficult thing to know that if there is a body at rest i want to move it i will apply certain force on it this i apply force and it moves very easily but if i bring this again apply force and i feel i have to apply more force why so it is very obvious and i see what was the difference between the two the answer is the difference between the two is mass so we say the mass is such a characteristic of the body which affect the force applied on it for changing the condition of motion so force depends upon which thing mass now we are talking about the object which is moving now if something a cycle is coming with certain motion i want to stop it i just go on the way and hold it and just in one or two steps i can stop it that much force i can apply but that cycle was coming with a speed of uh, say uh, 5 km per hour very small speed but now if a truck is coming with a speed of 5 km per hour i cannot stop it so the force to stop it is different than force to stop the cycle why because they have a different characteristic mass that is what i was going to explain now another thing i say the mass affect the force if mass affect the force then okay a truck i cannot stop can i stop a bullet the bullet has got very small mass if that bullet is coming i say oh it is so small i will stop it but i can't you know what a bullet will do it has such a small mass then why i have to apply such a large force to stop a bullet if i want to the answer is because bullet has got a very large velocity so again if we have to give velocity to a bullet and if we want to stop a bullet then the force required depends upon the velocity of the bullet that means velocity is also a characteristic which affect the force to change the condition of the motion i want to stop the bullet to change the condition of motion so i have to apply very large force but it is not because of the mass of the bullet it is because of the velocity of the bullet that means in some cases like cycle and truck mass is effective which is affecting the force in certain cases it is velocity which is affecting the force which is the third thing okay the third thing third thing we will study later but at present we have seen the two things one is mass and one is velocity and these are the two things which are in a moving body so we have combined it and given it a name that characteristic is known as momentum this is characteristic of a body in motion due to which it can apply force on uh, or it can affect the applied force on it this is momentum now the measurement of momentum is measurement of momentum this momentum we will call give a symbol p and this measurement is mass multiplied by velocity double the mass momentum will be double double the velocity momentum will be double very simple relation we have done this with certain advanced uh, calculations we will do it now okay so this is how momentum is calculated 
Okay. Now, few more characteristic of this physical quantity. <coughs> this is the definition. This is the symbol. This is the calculation. Then, what should be the uh, whether it is a scalar quantity or it is a vector quantity? Answer: Velocity is a vector quantity. Mass is a scalar quantity. The multiplication of the two gives us a vector quantity. But is really momentum affected by direction? Answer: Yes. A body is moving in this direction has a momentum in this direction. It does not have momentum in this direction. If we want to apply a force, we have to apply force in this direction, in this line. This force will not change its momentum. That means momentum. In momentum, we have to specify the direction. Therefore, this is a vector quantity. If it is a vector quantity, then what is the magnitude and what is the direction? Answer. The magnitude is magnitude is mv and direction is the direction of velocity. Direction that of velocity. Whatever is the direction of velocity, so now our formula become like this. Velocity same direction momentum. So, this is a vector quantity. Now, what should be its unit? We have not made any derived unit of it. We will simply make it the multiplication of two units. So, this is kg meter per second kg meter per second and if we want to see dimensions Then dimensions of m l t minus 1 mass velocity. So, these are dimensions. This is the nature. This is the formula. This is the symbol. This is the definition. This is momentum. And momentum is very, very important in physics. Why? Because of its particular uh, condition, because of its particular characteristic. What is that characteristic due to which it is very famous? The answer is any system which is moving in the universe anywhere, whether it is a small system, whether it is a large system. If it is in motion and we have studied that everything in this universe is under motion. That means everything has momentum. Now, we have also seen bodies, systems. Like earth, people on the earth, material on the earth, atmosphere of the earth, all these particles make one system, which is different than the system in the Mars. Mars, earth, Jupiter, they all make another system. But that system is different from any other solar system. So, there are so many systems. In the systems, in any one system, there are many members. All the members are moving in the condition of motion and every member has got mass and velocity, mass, velocity, mass, velocity. And the total sum of all this will be total momentum of the system. Now due to any reason, due to any reason, if there is a separation in the system. There is separation in the members of the system. Out of five, three goes this way, two go this way. Then what do they preserve? They preserve their total momentum. This is conservation of momentum. If an event take place in the family, then they are separated or they combine. Maybe even maybe of both the types and there may be this has got certain momentum, this has got certain momentum and they combine and then keep moving in this direction or in this direction. It has got certain momentum, it has got certain momentum, they combine and they move. 
it has got momentum 50 it has got momentum 100 they combine and they keep moving and what is the momentum of this combined system 50 plus 100 150 it will never be 149 it will never be 151 this is conservation and this happens in very small bodies it happens in very large bodies same thing for separation if it has got a momentum of 100, these two are separated, going this way, these three going this way. They are carrying momentum of 70. So how much is momentum of this system? 30. Because total has to be 100. So it is conserved and what is conservation law? We cannot create, we cannot destroy. It will, we can only change it, we can only divide it, we can only combine it. But the total will always remain same. This thing is true for momentum, but family of the particles, not for one particle. So the momentum is conserved and with that, please always remember, this should be momentum of the family. That is conservation of momentum. Now, I will simply write this law, but we will not practice it here. Uh, we will have to see certain examples. Okay, examples we can have and uh, those are very pretty uh, good examples. We must do it. Okay, so we will do one thing. This momentum has, we study it in two references. One, conservation and second, calculating or creating calculating force we have to study both of them now if a body is moving with certain momentum mass into velocity and we apply brake and stops what happens to its momentum its momentum has become zero where it has gone because we have just learned momentum is always conserved and we very coolly say that momentum of this body has become zero where this momentum has gone. So answer, that was a conditional characteristic that the momentum will be conserved if and only if no external force is applied. That means external force can change the momentum. And from here, the force calculation comes into picture. So, in the next two lectures, first we will see that how force is related to momentum and the next lecture we will see how the momentum conservation calculations are done and how we have very situations, many situations in our nature where calculations are done by this principle. So that will be in the next lecture. Thank you.